In a recent survey, we explored the water and sewerage infrastructure of 149 out of the 186 administrative islands of the Maldives. In an earlier video, we shared our findings with regards to water. Here's what we found out about sewerage systems and infrastructure on these 149 islands. Only 41% or 61 islands reportedly had a sewerage system. These consisted of various types, including a usual community pipeline system, a vacuum system, a gravity system, and a multi-step treatment system. The majority of these were operated by Fanaka. Other operators identified included Stelco, MWSC, and island councils of the respective islands. 2% of the islands stated that their sewerage systems was monitored by a separate office, but did not specify who, while the remaining 16% did not specify an operator. How about the 85 islands that reportedly did not have proper sewerage systems? 40% of these islands had sewerage projects ongoing at various stages, with all expected to be concluded by the end of 2021 at the time of the survey. Hence the remaining 51 islands, which account for 34% of the islands surveyed, did not have a proper sewerage system, nor did they have ongoing projects for establishing such a system. Under the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6, all Maldivian residents must have access to safe, adequate, and equitable sanitation. This means that all of us should have access to improved sanitation facilities that we do not have to share with other households, and from which the excreta produced are safely treated. We as civil society actors will continue to advocate for this right. To join us in this mission, visit watercare.org.mv slash get involved or follow us at watercaremv.